Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Okay, it's kind of like we've had a little break. There was no to be continued, which I'm a little bit surprised about, but we are here in the court. So, ooh, we learned quite a lot in the last one. Spoilers if you haven't watched it. Get the hell out of here quick. Uh, Bonnie has a twin. There's two rabbit girls. One evil, quote unquote, one good, quote unquote. And it seems like one of them doesn't really give a crap what's happening. And one of them has something important to say about Trucy, but they didn't have a chance to say it. Also, we really need to figure out what happened with the sword, which I'm assuming we're going to do now because Trucy is about to come on to the podium and do uh, her statement, which I, I'm, I'm a little nervous about how this is going to go. Because everyone's been so mean to her, and I don't like it. Court is now back in session. Defendant, please step up to the witness stand. There she is. Trucy, you're gonna be all right. Trucy, right, magician. Here comes the liar, the deceitful witch. Throw the murderer in jail. Last member of that criminal troop. Boo! We don't want to see you on any stage. This is horrible. Order. The gallery will be quiet, or I'll have you all thrown out on the spot. You tell him, Judge. That shit's wrong. That's not right. What's with all the hecklers? I bet those are the people that Mr. Rettens decided to fly in here. I bet they're the fans Mr. Rettens invited. Man, that asshole. I, can, mm, I cannot wait to get him. I am on a mission. I have a vendetta. What a great a jerk. He's not going to psych us out. Well, I hope that's the same for Trucy, though. I hope she doesn't fall for it. Now then, Miss Wright, this court would like to know if you switched from the steel sword to a rubber one on stage. So, please testify about this issue. She's just gonna try and trick us again with her magic. Hurry up and convict her already. Give her the death penalty! Oh my fu- Oh my god! That is so fucking awful! That's terrible! Trucy, don't listen to that shit. Silence, all of you. I won't tell you again. Miss Wright, do you feel able to testify? Poor Trucy. Yes, I'm fine, Your Honor. Because she's being so brave. Trucy, I knew I shouldn't have let her go through with this. It's okay, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, I'd like to make a small request. How about instead of testifying with words... I show you exactly what happened. Would that be all right, Your Honor? You can witness my stupendous sword switching magic and judge for yourselves. Is that gonna work? In spite of everything, she's still smiling. Our Trucy is amazing, isn't she? She sure is. She's doing just fine up there. True entertainer always keeps a smile on their face. She's faithfully following the Truth Grammary Creed even now. She's so good. She really is something else. Man, she sure is. It's showtime for magical girl Trucy Wright. Watch carefully now, everybody. How's she gonna do this? Is it still gonna be a testimony? Oh, sort of. Okay. The stupendous sword switch. Well, I can't wait to see that. Ladies and gentlemen, please focus your attention on this sword. Allow me to demonstrate. Just how sharp this blade truly is. Wow, look at that. See that? No tricks or gimmicks. A very sharp sword indeed. This is so cool! Now then, ladies and gentlemen, watch as I take this sword and... What's happening? Presto Sordo! There! I've switched it! Wait, how? I didn't even see her do anything except spin around. And now... Huh. Oh gosh, she grabbed the blade. As you can see, the blade is not steel, but rubber. That's so fun! Oh my goodness! That was pretty cool. But, but... Oh, is everyone gonna be amazed at this? Oh my god, I hope so. Bravo, Miss Wright! That was really cool. The judge liked it. Wait! Wow, she switched them in a flash! Wait, th they like it too? I couldn't see her do it at all! She's completely turned the room around. 
Oh, Trucy, you're a true entertainer, babe. The hecklers are being drowned out by all the cheering. Where did the steel sword vanish off to, Miss Wright? In order to deepen our understanding of the case, please tell us if you would. I I'm not asking out of mere curiosity, just so you know. I usually hide the steel sword backstage when I switch them during the show. So when you thrust the rubber sword into the coffin, the steel sword wasn't even on stage but behind the curtain? Exactly. So you see, there is a trick and a gimmick to it after all. And as for where the steel sword went when I performed the trick just now, it's a secret. Wouldn't want to spoil the magic for you now, would I? Dude, is that going to hold up in court? Hopefully they'll let her get away with that. Ho ho! That's our trucy! Yeah, still. Miss Wright? What's wrong, Apollo? Something's the matter. That part where you spun around. That's an actual part of the sword switching trick you do for the show, right? Right. The other parts, like the apple, were just to help with my explanation here in court. That's funny. I think I found an inconsistency. You did? Wait, what is it? Wait, I don't understand. <laughs> it looks like I'm not the only one. I don't know what it's doing there. But now that I've found it, I have to get to the bottom of it. Wait, what though? What, uh, am I... Does it have something to do with how she moved around? Oh, we might need to look at the footage. Now that Mr. Justice, you may go ahead and question the witness. But try not to ask dumb questions and spoil this wondrous magic. Okay. Well, let's see if we can lead ourselves to this, because I'm not sure where we're supposed to do this at. I thought this was supposed to be my cross-examination. Listen, it never is. <laughs> Apollo, what are you thinking? Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we get to see her do it. Right, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please focus your attention on this sword. Now, do I need to press everything? The answer is yes. Please be careful, Miss Wright. Don't worry, I've practiced this trick a thousand times. That's right, Apollo. You have to give Trucy some credit. She knows what she's doing. I know, I know, but it still makes me nervous every time. But that's what magic is all about. A truly great magician can make her audience experience all kinds of thrills and chills. That's true, that's true. I guess you're right. I better try not to interrupt her too much while she's doing the trick. Oh, press everything you mean? Okay, gonna do it. I don't want to distract her or break her concentration. Still, I'm doing it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, back to the exciting world of magic. Allow me to demonstrate just how sharp the blade truly is. Hold it! Hold it while you're holding it. Miss Wright, please don't swing that big dangerous thing around. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. somebody could get hurt. Apollo, please don't shout when I'm swinging said blade around. Somebody could get hurt. Just, listen, if all this does is give me stupid dialogue, then I'm here for it. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sorry about that. I couldn't help myself. Well, the thing is too, is I'm not really sure where I need to do anything here. Obviously, it's gotta be something like maybe her footage doesn't match. The thing we should do is look at it. You should know better than to talk to me while I'm on stage. Mr. Justice, I'll see you in my chambers after court is adjourned. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I don't suppose someone could make me disappear before that happens. Let's just watch quietly, shall we? Oh shit, am I not supposed to press stuff? And now back to the show. Is it when she turns around then? No tricks or gimmicks, a very sharp sword indeed. One, okay, wait, let me just see something. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, watch as I take the sword and... Presto Sordo, I've switched it. Hang on. Can I look at my court stuff? I have to be careful not to present anything. I just want to look at it. Where is the... Oh, did I pass it? Show footage. Can I see this, please? Sorry, this is gonna be a minute. Can we fast forward this? I guess there's no way to do it. Apollo said, is the is the spinning around part of it? Did she not do that on stage? Because I don't remember. All right, we're watching this. It's mostly on Bonnie though, is it not? Well, let's see what happens. That switches to Trucy. There she is. Okay, does she do? Well, we can't see now. Does she do her spinny thing? 
Does it matter? She doesn't do it. She stuck the sword in, and whatever sword she used just then, she threw. Uh... So, okay, so that's different. Is that what I have to present here on the spinny one? That was the one that she spun around on, right? I'm gonna try it. Objection! Oh, shit! Okay! Wait, what does that mean, though? Miss Wright, there's something I'd like to confirm with you. Huh? What is it, Apollo? There seems to be a discrepancy between the way you performed the trick for us just now and the way it appears in the show footage. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go on with this, wait, isn't this bad? Like, if we're, uh, if we're pointing this out, that she did it correctly in this courtroom and switched it, and she didn't do that motion on stage, isn't that going to incriminate her? Um, well, I, I guess I just have to see where it's going. What? But that can't be. I performed it exactly the same way both times. Was it when she was in the smoke then, I guess? Then what's going on here? Miss Wright, I have the show footage right here. And the part where you twirl your cape around is missing from it. What? But I did it. Maybe, maybe it was in the part where the smoke appears? Maybe that wasn't supposed to... I don't know. It seemed like that smoke was supposed to be there, though. So... It really is the exact moment you switch swords? Yes, that's right. Uh, wait, what does this mean then? I knew it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait, I, I have a feeling he's gonna say something bad. Well, I certainly never expected the defense to expose the accused lie for me. Oh shit, I knew it. Mr. Justice, does this mean that you are arguing? That the defendant did not swap the swords during the actual magic show? Uh oh No, Your Honor, that wasn't my intention. I, I mean, I did swap them. I know I did. I'm absolutely sure of it. What? What is it, Pretty? Human memory is unreliable at best, but in this case, I am afraid that it is the witness herself who cannot be trusted. We can see the footage for ourselves. The claims of this witness are false. Yeah, but we didn't have, like, eyes on her the entire time. But it's not even good footage. Now that it has been proven that the accused did not swap swords, it means that the use of the steel sword to pierce the coffin was wholly intentional. No, 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 that's not what it means. And by the way, was it not you, Mr. Justice, who argued that Mysterious' death was not an accident, but murder? I assume you have no objections to that still. It was, after all, your own assertion. The snake! Objection! Girl, yes. Help me out. The defense has an objection to you, Mr. Apollo Justice. Oh. Oh, shit, that is not helping me. I demand you withdraw the discrepancy you pointed out now. There is a discrepancy and it must mean something. I'm sure of it. What could it mean, though? The defense team kindly saved their spat until after court is adjourned. Now, after all this debate, it seems that we've come back around to the original argument. The defendant knew about the prank plan that would place the victim inside the coffin. That can't be right either. What's more, the defendant did not perform the sword switching trick on stage. Through her actions, I'm afraid that I have come to see the true intentions of the accused. Her murderous intentions. It's such a shame. But, but I did switch the swords. I swear. You're, you're knee deep in it now, Justice. Oh boy. What are we gonna do? How can we not get out of this no matter what we try? Who's that? Bonnie? Excuse me. Let's see. You are... Which one again? Benny? <clears throat> <laughs> Wait, Benny? Body? It's Bonnie. You were mixing the two names together, Your Honor. Oh, pardon me. And do you have something you wish to say, Bonnie? Yes, Your Honor. I'd like it to testify. About what? The more I think about it, the less possible it seems. I don't believe that Trucy killed Mysterious. Bonnie? Wait, who's holding it now? Oh, I bet I know. 
Hey, what's the big idea? Like such an incredibly gifted and talented magician would never commit murder. I refuse to believe it. What are you talking about, you harebrained hare? Keep her trap shut. I got a bag of baby carrots for you, so chew on those and pipe down. She's so mean to her. No, I won't be quiet. What's the matter with you? Didn't you hear me? Trucy said something to me once. Huh? She said, no matter how scared you get, no matter how mean people are to you, you can't give in or give up. That's what being a professional magician is all about. Isn't that right, Trucy? Aww. That's right, Bonnie. I've always been afraid to stand up to Betty, afraid to defy her, so I did what she said. But when I saw Trucy today, she gave me strength. Oh my god, this is so cute. She's just gonna try and trick us again with her magic. Hurry up and convict her! Give her the death penalty! That's so awful. That moved her. Um, I'd like to make a small request. How about instead of testifying with words, I show you exactly what happened. Would that be alright, Your Honor? You can witness my stupendous sword switching magic and judge for yourselves. She probably got moved when she moved the whole audience to her side. Seeing her courage, the way she kept smiling despite everything, she's just incredible. So I'm not gonna run away. I'm scared, but for once, I'm gonna be brave. Oh, she's so cute. I do love them a little bit. <laughs> what have you done to my sister, Trucy Wright? You've practically brainwashed her. It's the power of Trucy's conviction. That's what it is. It's touched Bonnie's heart. Yeah. Trucy really is one magical girl. She sure is. Bonnie, is the topic of your testimony related to that thing that was bothering you? The thing that you tried to tell us about in the lobby during the recess? Yes. Ever since I saw the show footage, something's been nagging at me. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but something is off. I feel like something about it is different from what I saw on the stage. What do you mean by that, Bonnie? Well, I wonder if what was shown on TV is really the same as what happened on stage. Objection. What does that mean? Did someone, like, edit it? Of course it is. The show has only been performed once, after all. Was it live? Had to have been. It can't show anything other than what happened on that stage yesterday. Objection! What if it does, though? But Bonnie's testimony deserves our attention. We have to examine the show footage. Hmm. What can we check it against? Do you have some other footage of the show? Uh, well... I have some show footage. You do? Oh, shit. One of the TV station's cameramen said that he was a fan of mine. Oh, I think we talked to him. He kept his camera on me throughout the entire show. And then, afterwards, he gave me the footage he shot as a present. He did? To tell you the truth, I thought it was kind of creepy, so I was going to get rid of it. Hold it. Please submit that footage to the court. Oh, okay. So it's different, maybe? Let's look. Now then, let's take a look at this new footage. Yes, I need to know. All right, let's look carefully and see what could be different. That seems the same. She blew a kiss to Mr. Hat, she did. Oh, we haven't seen this, okay. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a little bit creepy, but oh well. Um, it's fine. <laughs> okay. All right, there's the, there's that. The smoke, and then Trucy should come up. She does do that. Trucy's on the other side there. And then, and then what happened? Wait, what's the... Wait, did those cards happen? I don't remember that. I don't remember her jumping. Oh, wait, okay. 
Maybe that must be it, right? I don't think we saw those in the original. Wow, uh, okay then. Oh, he really did keep his camera on Bonnie the whole time, didn't he? He sure did. Oh, I think this cameraman needs to keep his personal feelings out of his work. I thought she was gonna say keep it in his pants. That also would have been appropriate. Well, Defense, do you still believe this new show footage is worth inspecting? Yes. Uh, of course I do. Okay, so how are we gonna go about this? Let's try comparing the two. We just might find an inconsistency between them. An inconsistency, huh? Yes, the two pieces of footage are the same scene. They should match up. But Bonnie felt there was something off about the original. I definitely don't remember seeing those cards in it. So if we can pick out what's different between the two, we'll know what Bonnie found strange. Exactly. Plus, we may figure out why the original doesn't show the sword switching trick. Your Honor, the defense would like to compare these two pieces of show footage. All right, how do we do that? Can we show them side by side? Very well, I will allow it. What a waste of time. Apollo, do you know how to compare the two pieces? No, I've never done it before. I'll give you a little lesson then. Use the buttons on the bottom screen to operate the playback. When you want to speed through, touch fast forward. And if you want to go back, touch the rewind button. If you want to halt the play, you can touch the pause button. Oh, and by the way, if you fast forward or rewind when the playback is paused, you can do a slow frame by frame playback. Okay, that's probably what I'll do. Okay, and how do I switch between the two videos? Just touch the switch camera button at the top left. Now, if you find a difference between the two pieces of footage, put the cursor over what's different and present it to the court. Thanks, Athena. You really know your stuff. But Carl, it's just like working a VCR, what? He doesn't know how to do that? Not really. I just gave it some gusto and went with my gut on most of it. What? I sure hope she guessed right. Me too. All right, we'll figure this out. Anyway, let's give it a try. Right, here we go, okay. Right, okay, so this is the one that we've seen before. Right, I get it. Now, I think I want to... Oh, jeez. Okay, we won't, we, won't, we won't zoom in on that part. This all seems good. She does that. Switches. And then something soon is going to happen here with the cards. I'm going to pause and then just forward pause. Is this happening around here? She looked startled right and then the cards came out. Is that what happened? Sorry, this is a bit... This is a bit weird. Where was it? Am I am I crazy? Oh, no, here they... Here they are. Huh. Would that... Is that... There's just one frame, two frames? How many frames? Can we... Can we present these things? Right here, right? The cards. Take that! That's it, right? Because that wasn't in the first one. This is it right here. Take a good look at this scene and compare it to the video shot from the front. I didn't even look because we just looked at it and I don't remember seeing those. Oh, the playing cards don't appear in the video shot from the front. Hey, you're right. What's going on here? Miss Wright, what can you tell us about these playing cards? Oh, those? They're the cards I throw when I do the sword switching trick. What? Oh, she didn't have those today. Cause she's, I mean, she's been in jail to be fair. Mr. Justice, does this mean? Yes, it means that the sword switching trick was cut from the TV show footage. How, it wasn't live? Oh, I thought it was. So the footage was edited. Yes, with malicious intent. That is absurd. Well, we must get to the bottom of this right away. Bailiff, the TV station might still have the unedited footage. Go see what you can find out. Yes, Your Honor. Who's holding it? Wh who's Holden? Is Holden coming to the party? Who's that? Oh no, I already know from the shoes. Bro, I do not want to talk to your ass. Of course you're gonna stop this, right? Cause you did it. You fucking did it. It's you. 
Oh, now hold up, your honor. This is all just a big understanding, believe you me. Give a guy a chance to defend himself before you start pointing fingers. And who might you be? Right, right, sorry about that. Got ahead of myself there. Here is my business card, Charm, to make your acquaintance your honor. Oh, well, uh, how very polite of you. It's lovely to meet you too, Prosecutor Submati, please take my card. A business card? Ah, uh, yes, I read about this custom among businessmen in this country. I have even familiarized myself with the various replies. How do you do, good sir, or what's crackalackin' homie, for example? Oh, man. You know, if you started using that, you might redeem yourself a little. Just a little, though. Oh ho, you're from Take Two TV, are you witness? Come to think of it, I believe I've seen you on television before. Yes, Roger Rettens, otherwise known as the Ratings Raja. He is a TV producer and appears on many of his own shows as of late. He's best known for his catchphrase, Hang Loose Baby. <laughs> Just giving it dry, like, you know, he would probably. Oh my, so you're the Ratings Raja? Hang Loose, Judgy Baby, nice courtroom you got here. I never thought I'd get to meet you in person. But Prosecutor Sadmati, how do you know so much about him? Yeah, how do you? In preparation for this case, I watched all of his shows. Oh. Is that why you're so grumpy? I found the ratings Raja goes to Burger Barn of particular ins- Man, I want to go to the Burger Barn? It inspired me to visit that restaurant straight away to learn more about the local cuisine. What? You went to Burger Barn? Is that owned by Mr. Beast? <laughs> oh, who knows? The Apollo Justice version of Mr. Beast? Who would have thought? You must have really wanted to try it, huh, buddy? Because that line, whoa. Compared to my aesthetic training, an hour's wait is nothing. I recommend the Southwestern Burger with jalapeno jack cheese, by the way. Oh shit, that sounds good. You got the same taste as me, boy. You like it spicy, so do I. <laughs> Let's get together later. I'm having a really hard time picturing him in line for burgers. What's wrong with burgers? Everybody can enjoy them. Uh, Prosecutor Sadmati's unexpected enthusiasm for food aside, Mr. Rettens, what is this misunderstanding that you mentioned? Well, for starters, it's true that the footage was edited. You'll get your hands on this anyway, so I might as well show you the unedited footage. I don't believe whatever is in this one bit. It's a pretty long video. I'll just show you the part with the playing cards. You can see the cards when Trucy spins around, so keep your eyes peeled. Is that true, though? All right, let's see. Does she spin? There's her cards. She spins, does the sword trick. That looks like she did it, right? Did you see the part that was cut where Trucy switched it? She spins around and the playing cards go flying. Everything's like it's supposed to be. Hmm, then it seems the defendant really did swap swords during the trick. Okay, why would he show us this? Isn't this not what he wants? Which means the sword that Miss Wright thrust into the coffin was the rubber one. In other words, Miss Wright couldn't have killed Mysterious. Wait, why are we holding it? Yeah, see, that's the first misunderstanding right there. What? What do you mean? What's he on about? Well, Trucy definitely did swap swords, as you saw. So yeah, maybe she didn't kill Mysterious when she stabbed the coffin. But that just means that he was killed after he showed up pretending to be a corpse. Why who? If she only had a rubber sword, what could she have done? You're saying that up until that point, everything was going according to the script? I mean, I also had this thought that he was killed after he fell out. Once the dragon fell down, you couldn't see anything that happened back there. But how did she kill him if all she had was a rubber sword left? If that's true, then when and how exactly do you think he was killed? It was after the dragon set piece came crashing down. I do agree with him on that part, I think. I really do. I say Trucy murdered Mysterious when she was hidden from view behind the set piece. That means anyone that was back there could have done it. 
You could have easily done it behind that huge dragon and nobody be the wiser. Yeah, but that uh, it still stands that anyone could have done that. Right? I see. Indeed, there is a ring of truth to your assertion. You bet. Plus, there's a suspicious-looking shadow in the footage, too. It's towards the end of the footage, just before the dragon hits the stage. We also noticed that, didn't we? It might be easier to just see it for yourselves. Okay. I mean, we've seen it, but maybe this will give us a close-up. It comes up exactly when the dragon comes down, does it not? Yes, see? So, it's definitely... Yeah, it's definitely related to the dragon coming down. It's only for a split second, so it's hard to catch, but look here. Well, it just looks like Mr. Hat. This suspicious shadow must be Trucy. She's using the steel sword she hid behind the curtain during the trick to kill the victim. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I suppose it does look that way. But Mr. Hat also looks like Trucy. This witness is just trying to ram his theory down our throats. Whoa! Okay. And that's not all. Aren't we forgetting? That the witness willfully edited the sword switch out of the footage. Why are we holding it? I'm not holding anything of yours. Yo, you see, that's your second misunderstanding right there. Your Honor, would you mind if I testified about it? I've seen people testify on TV and I've always wanted to give it a shot. Uh, that would be fine with me. Prosecutor Sadmati? This is quite unexpected. It threatens to disrupt the karmic course of this case. Oh, he doesn't want him to. Oh, he's afraid that he's gonna fuck up, I bet. I think there's too much on the line here, and he knows it. Yo, lighten up, pretty boy. You're gonna like what I've got to say, I promise. What are you gonna say there? He's not sure. Very well, however... If you do anything to impede the last rites for the victim, I will have you removed. All right. With Prosecutor Sabmai's permission, please give us your testimony, Mr. Rettens. I think we're going to do this in the next one, just in case. I know, I know, it sucks. I'm like, I'm... <laughs> well, I, mm, I don't know. I, I think once the testimony starts, we get into it. And I'm thinking that his testimony must be one of the last ones that's going to clear up some things. So in the next one, we will clear up this case. I cannot wait, personally. I hope you're enjoying this, guys, as much as I am. Thank you so much for all the comments, the likes. Thank you so much for everything. Everyone's been giving such great comments. I love reading them. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying this. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Toodaloo!